So in this video, I want to go over multiplying fractions. And multiplying fractions, in my opinion, is easier than adding or subtracting fractions because you don't need a common denominator. Our bottom numbers do not need to be the same. You can always multiply fractions. And the only thing that you need to do is just multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators. And I wrote that for you in green in the bottom left part of the screen. So let's just get started right away with this example. Uh, here we have four-fifths multiplied by two-thirds. So following our steps, we just need to multiply our numerators. In our numerator, we have a four and a two. So I'm going to multiply our four and two together in our numerator. And in our denominators, we have a five and a three. So in our denominator, I'm going to multiply the five and the three together. So in our numerator, we have 4 times 2, which is just 8. And in our denominator, we have 5 times 3, which is 15. And this is our final answer. So now I want to go over an example where we have a negative fraction. So let's say we have a negative 1 half multiplied by 3 over 5. And the first thing I want to point out is where I can move the negative sign in front of the fraction. It's perfectly okay to move the negative sign into the numerator of the fraction or into the denominator of the fraction. It doesn't matter. But what I like to do is I just like to move that negative sign um, into the numerator. So now we can multiply these fractions right away. Once again, we multiply our numerators together. So in our numerator, we're going to multiply our negative 1 and our 3. And in our denominator, we're going to multiply our 2 and our 5. And this simplifies to negative 1 times 3 in our numerator, which is just negative 3. And 2 times 5 in our denominator, which is just 10. So here are some more videos with some more example problems related to the video you just watched. I really hope you're finding my tutorials helpful. So until my next video, I will see you later.